Hey YouTube, wanted to make a little documentary on the George Rogers Park in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Um, gonna be moving from here in a couple months, so uh, it's more for myself. Um, here is the entrance. You can park. And uh, for starters, I'm gonna take you over here. Watch out for traffic. So just to the right of the entrance, uh, you'll see this cool little uh, water treatment thing, probably for the steel mill. But you can come to the right and you get a really cool view off the bridge. So we're going to take a look at that really quick. So here is the view you get off the bridge. It's pretty awesome, I think. So here's the Lake Oswego Creek running to the Willamette. We're going to go check that out next. There's a bigger water treatment plant. We'll check out under the bridge too. So the parking lot is pretty empty right now, the upper parking lot. But in the summertime, get whatever you can get. This place fills up. They have all types of stuff going on here. Uh, some weird racquetball thing. All types of art festivals and crap like that. Uh, here is kind of the middle parking lot. Um, great picnic area and even some uh, summertime bands in there. As we get to the lower part of the park, you can see the old blast furnace for steel making and the Willamette River. Uh, I'll show you some running trails pretty soon. Here is a closer look at the blast furnace. Um, if you come down here, they've got a bunch of information. The history. And this part of the park is pretty cool. It's the lower part. So we are going to check out the water area of the park. Uh, it is December right now, so um, not many people, but in the summertime, uh, it gets pretty busy down here. Um, they even have handicap access. And check out these views, they're freaking amazing. Check out where you can swim, and lots of kayakers and paddleboarders. I'll take you to the running trails next. Oh, if you want to run, walk, or cycle, this is the trail for you. Head to the bridge on the lower part of the park. And you'll see this place is awesome. You can bring dogs, pets, uh, bicyclists come through here. Tons of old, older walker people, so be careful with them. But uh, such a cool place. Um, I'm gonna take you to some of the running trails I go on. So at the end of the bridge, you can take a left, and it's a nice paved uh, trail. Or you can take the right, or you can take the upper trail. We're gonna explore all of them, but I'm gonna take you on the main one first. So you can see there is some cool waterfalls and um, some pretty cool views. We're gonna take a look at this bridge up here. So. so at the top of this uh, mini bridge, uh, there's a cool sitting area and a cool viewing area. Check out the apartments and the houses. We're gonna go down this way though. Another cool sitting area and awesome views. Um, some apartment buildings up there. It's not my apartment buildings, but uh, pretty cool view up there. Not the best area to swim, but there is a cool spot up above. But, uh, all you got is birds out here and probably frogs. So here is the end of the official running trail. Um, there's this cool old building. Um, I'm guessing maybe it was the office building for the old steel mill. Who knows? So have a cool view. And then you got this cool area over here. 
sun is out today, which is nice for Oregon. A uh, little creek running through here. Um, out to the Willamette. We're headed out this way, though. The road. We won't go too far, though. I've got a video camera. We got some type of electrical ball, and I don't know if that's a generator or what, but something. Uh, maybe a motor generator set or something. Isolate the power, I don't know. Um, the view out here is cool. We'll go a little ways up this way. Uh, when I run, they actually have really nice trails on the side of the road, and there's not very much traffic. But I'm not going to run today. I should. Well, instead of going back to the park, you can walk up this way. Uh, watch out for traffic, though. Not a ton, but people do come through here. Anyway, don't park after hours. You will get a ticket. That's been verified by me. Just a quick view uh, running back uh, through the trails. Uh, it does look pretty awesome here uh, in the fall time. They do have access trails and stuff like that to a lot of the apartments and houses. Um, I'm not going to go up this one, but I will take you up one. One more last view of the little bridge and uh, the view out here. It's freaking awesome. Yeah, you can see the bridge there. I think that's a steel bridge or one of the bridges in Portland. All right, one last view of the top of that bridge. Um, this view never gets old. One last view of the mini waterfall. And another angle. That's where a lot of people swim. Right down, down, down on that shore. So remember that trail to the right? I'm going to take you on that. Grab your hiking boots, because we're not going to go on this trail this trail so as you can see that trail led to an apartment complex or condo but uh, the cool thing you don't have to go there and the view up here is just well the trees are kind of in the way but pretty cool huh so be careful when you're going down the trail these uh, some of these leaves are pretty slick clue if that is just some crap somebody left or something is growing there. Looks cool. So if you're tired after climbing up there, um, you can take a right and it'll take you back to the park. Or you can take a left and we're going to go check out some bridges. So as you can see, we're going left and we're meeting back up with the main trail. So if you want to skip that whole thing, just uh, walk down the main trail. This trail does have some cool sitting areas, but I wouldn't recommend it in the winter time. But uh, over here, I think, is the old water treatment plant for the old steel mill, I'm guessing. But uh, we'll get a better view in a minute. So here is the biggest bridge by the park. A um, little better view of that water treatment plant, if you can see it. And then at the beginning of the video, there was that smaller one. So. Sometimes I'll hide under here if it starts uh, raining really hard until it lets off a little bit. Here is the Lake Oswego Creek running through the bridge area. I do not know why there's cones. Maybe something fell. But a uh, bunch of cool things to look at. I haven't been on that side, but went up this side a little bit. Maybe I'll explore the other side. Not with a video camera, though. Okay, we're headed this way. Um, don't worry, the trail does not end there. It just looks like it. So just when you think the trail comes to an end, and look at this awesome view. You're going to realize that, hey, wait, there's more. There's a trail this way. It's just kind of hidden. Okay, let's check it out. So, stop every once in a while. Check out the view on this trail. It's awesome. Wonder who lives in that apartment building. Anyway, the Lake Oswego Creek. 
and the bridge from the other side. Some nice houses on the hill over here, and uh, it's where the Lake Oswego Creek starts. Uh, we're gonna go check out at least the dam on the Lake Oswego. So you got all these cool little streams going into it. Um, I have seen people swim down here. Um, and the water does look pretty clean. It's kind of dirty now because of uh, all the rain. And there is the dam for Lake Oswego. I'm not going to climb up there. I literally fell on my ass the other day. So I'm not going to try it with a video camera. But uh, maybe I'll try it with my phone. Pretty cool down here, huh? It's a view of the creek from the other side. Oh, I'm to try to get a little better view. The bridge of that distance. Don't come through here if there's uh, ice rain. Um, a lot of the trees were taken out this last year from that freezing rain. So, uh, would not recommend that. Check out the ferns grown on the side of the bridge. Pretty cool, huh? I guess everything grows here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna take you to one last place, uh, down by the water. Can take this trail to the left, coming back, and check out down there, but uh, it's kind of muddy and slippery, so I wouldn't recommend it this time of year. Uh, just a little view on the way back. Um, we're not taking that trail now, so uh, you can see the that other bridge in the distance, maybe. Come into it, get a better shot. A little better view of the bridge um, and the uh, Lake Oswego Creek that runs through there. As you can see, they always have people here maintaining it. Here's a little better view of the Lake Oswego Creek as it comes into the Willamette. And we're gonna check out some ducks. Say hi to the duckies. They like the cold water. I think the colored ones are the males and the brown uh, ones are the females. Got some more over here too. Can't see the camera. Like they must be warming up. Anyway, uh, this is a cool park to check out. Lots of cool stuff to see. Lots of nice boats too. Shows a hand. And birds. Alright YouTube, uh, maybe I'll do another video if you guys like this. A uh, cool thing about Lake Oswego too is they have tons of art all over the city. I'll try to capture some more. Okay, one last view of the lower park area. That trail does go down there to some other cool things about it. Alright, one last view of the blast furnace. It is pretty cool. One last view of that water treatment plant. Probably sucks on the camera, but it looks pretty cool in person. Oh, and it looks like they have a big ass bird that lives here too. Big ass nest anyway. Okay, I'm really done. So the apartment condos here are pretty cool. They have direct access to the lake. Uh, they're expensive though. 
So here's a pretty cool view of Lake Oswego, and there's that dam area in the Oswego Creek. That runs down through there. Uh, don't go down there when they open up the floodgates. Uh, a lot of water comes through here. You might even get in trouble for it. One last view of the Lake Oswego Creek area. Oh, God, sweet, sweet.